hello welcome back to my channel today's sewing tutorial is how to cut and sew backless alter neck circle dress i want to say a big thank you to all those that responded to my opinion pool when i asked for the right title and the right thumbnail and you responded thank you very much for responding to that if this is your first time coming across my channel consider subscribing and hit on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos and to my returning subscribers you guys are the best thank you as always so we are going to be starting with this video today on how to cut and sew this backless alter neck dress it's easy and it's beginner friendly so continue watching till the end so let's do this to make this i used two and a half years of african fabric and i will start by folding the fabric into two so this is it folded into two as you can see and i will just take one end of the fabric like so and place it like i'm making a triangle I hope you understand what I did or I should let me do another one with a smaller fabric so I have my fabric folded lengthwise in two like this as in yardage wise and I picked one end and folded it like this this is what you have here so that's the same thing so I'm going to start by getting the neckline I'm making a radius so I'm going to make a radius of three inches this is basically standard it's not the full neck it's just a radius that i formulated myself so three inches is what i'm going to be using here we just need three measurements this radius which is three inches and then the armhole length and then the length of the dress so the length of the dress, I will take the length of the dress, which is 38 inches or 40, depending on the length you want to take. I'll mark it here, take the tape measure to the end and whatever I get, I take it round like that and make a circle. And then I go ahead and cut out that. I will also cut out the neckline. As you can see, this place is still on fold, so I will cut it open. Now I'm going to mark the length of the armhole. The length of the armhole I'm using is 10 inches, so I'm going to mark 10 inches here and I'm going to notch it make sure you notch the two fabrics that's the four of them like that so i just i'm just making sure it's the four of them that i notched so i'm going to take away one of them i take away one of the panels and we are working on this other one so we'll be working on the front panel first Remember the notch that I made and told you is the armhole, which is this place. Now I'm going to make the armhole curve using my curve ruler to get the alter neck line. Remember what we are working on is only just the front now. So we have taken away the back. So I'm going to cut this out. Now we have to work on the back panel. So with the notch that we have placed on that or uh, the back where we have the armhole length. So this is it. So I'm going to cut this round using that as the radius. So remember the radius I used is 10 inches. I'm going to take that 10 inches all around. And then I'm going to cut it out. So I'll go to my machine 
wrong side facing me i'm going to fold this in like so and sew it there so this is it after sewing it i'm going to pass this elastic into it the length of um, elastic i used is 13 inches so you can go ahead and use the amount that is enough for your size then i will go ahead and use bias and tape the armhole I will sew it here and turn it the other way like that and top stitch it. So this is it after stitching it. I've put the bias. The next thing I'm going to do is to join the side seam of the back panel and the front panel. So this is it. I'm going to go to the machine and join it straight like this on the both sides. So this is it after joining it as you can see. The next thing we are going to do is to work on the neckline. So we are going to be making a bishop neck for the neckline. So on my interfacing, I'm going to fold my interfacing like this in a triangular form. You see it's single. I fold it like this and I'm going to be getting the radius of my neck. That is what I have here. So my neck is 16 inches so neck divided by 6.28 and i'm going to times that by four so the neck that's what i got here this is neck neck divided by 6.28 times four so that's what gave me this and what i got was 10.1 inch and that's what I have here as you can see so the neck the neck my neck round my neck measurement is 16 inches that's what I used to divide this and got this so now I'm going to get the width of the neck the bishop neck hole I'm using 1.5 and I'm going to be getting the 1.5 from this upward like this so I'm going to place it like this and get 1.5 inches. And I'll connect all these lines. And then on the edge, at the edge of the this place, I will make this curve. Any silhouette you want, you can make it here. So now we have the bishop collar. I'll cut this out. So this is it. It's a nice curved bishop collar. So I'll go ahead and interface it on my fabric. With the right side, you can see I have cut the lining. So with the right side facing together, I'm going to go to my machine and sew it here all the way around. This is it after sewing it. Remember, I just sewed it at the tip of the collar. So I'm going to go ahead and notch this. And then I'm going to turn it over and iron it. If you have been watching my videos recently you would understand and i'm sure you would have been used to how i make this color so that's the same process i'm going to iron this out and then after ironing it out i'm going to cut off any excess and leave half inch sewing allowance to join it to the to the um, main bodies so 
so i'm going to fold this together to get the center of the this is how it looks i'll fold this like this and get the center of the collar and then i'm going to go to the bodies and also cut the make the notch for the center of the bodies then I'll go to the machine and I will match these two up. R right side facing the wrong side. Right side facing the wrong side. I'm going to go to the machine and attach it first of all there. After attaching it, this is how it looks. So I will go ahead and fold this one in. So that I'll be able to top stitch this. Then after doing this, I'll go to my machine and sew it. Make sure you, you don't fold it in, in too much. You fold it according to the, the other side of the collar. So I'll iron it neatly so that they are all equal. And then I'll go to the machine and sew it at the tip. So you just sew it at the tip here. And with this, guys, we have come to the end of today's video. See how nice this is looking. The collar is sitting properly on the neck. So guys, with this, we have come to the end of today's video. Let me know in the comment section if this actually helped you. And we'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed.